This is Shelley Kraft. We're coming to you live on SNN Live. We're at the William E. Hanna Jr. Innovation Center at Shady Grove in Rockville, Maryland. I have Sean May Tang, the president and CEO, and Pete Amschutz to my left, the CFO of Creative Microtech, a private company. I want to welcome you to SNN Live. Thank you, Shelley. It's good to have you. Yeah. And Pete, welcome to SNN Live. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, this is a company that has a product. I understand that. Tell me about the product, if you don't mind. Tell the audience. We have a microfilter that collect tumor cells um, from blood and use it to determine uh, therapy, monitor treatment, and the recurrence of solid tumors. And it's a research use only product. Now, tell me, as CFO, who are some of your customers? Well, our customers at the moment, because it's a re, re research use only product are researchers and pharmaceutical companies who are using this in their clinical trials. Such as? I, I'm sorry, but I'm bound by confidentiality, but they are big names that everyone would recognize. That's what I wanted to hear. Next, my question to you is, yes. what was the inspiration for you to create this product? I take it you're the creator. We have been a microfabrication company, and we specialize in making uh, devices, and we can make this better than all the competitors. So from the standpoint of making it better than all of the competitors, yes. do you have a lot of them? Uh, yes, there are a few of them, yes. Okay, so when you take your product, yes. why is your product better than the competition? For the fi microfilter area, that uh, our filter are precision in size, and we have high porosity, and the pores are distributed the way designed it. While some of the competitors, uh, the pores are randomly located, they can overlap, and they have uh, low uh, capture efficiency and also high standard deviation. Excellent. So when your customers get your product, Whose hands does it go into? The researchers in the, in the laboratory? And then what do they do with it? Well, this is used by researchers and clinicians who are actually treating patients, again, for research use only. When a person has these cancer cells in their blood, it means that they probably have metastatic cancer. And that's very important because metastatic cancer does 90% of the killing for cancer deaths. They Oh, they, they use the sample to look at the cells, to examine them, to both count the number of them, but also to analyze the cells to determine what type of cancer this is and whether the patient is responding to therapy. So does your product have a unique characteristic that enables the research, researcher or clinician to capture data from the blood? The tumor cells that circulate in the blood are typically larger than the uh, blood cells, and uh, we can uh, ca have um, high capture efficiency and minimize the 10 billion uh, blood cells, and it can be eliminated and uh, retain just the uh, tumor cells. So, so Xiaomei, tell me about your background. What's your experience? Um, I'm an electrical engineer from MIT, and uh, um, we have been working in the field of both medical diagnostics and microfabrication, and this product is a very good match of both of them. Now, what's your background? I also studied engineering and business at MIT. And uh, let me ask you a question. Why Maryland? Maryland is a great hub for the biotech and the medic, the life sciences related industries. Uh, Shame located here because it's just a very good environment. The state has several programs to help small companies like us innovate, especially at the early stage. And the reason why I asked you that question specifically as CFO is how does Maryland help you grant wise and money wise and all of that other good stuff? Like many states, uh, the state has recognized that life sciences is a high-value growth industry. So like many states, Maryland has several programs. What we've benefited from has been primarily the innovation grants, which give you small amounts of money to prove that your technology is working. But in addition, they have connected us to other companies through programs uh, uh, that, that they sponsor on a regular basis. Excellent. Where does the company go from here? 
we would like to get uh, FDA approved products and so that uh, you can go to clinic and that's very important to grow the company. So how large a market do you think this is? There are, eight, um, there are 10 million uh, cancer patients in the U.S. Solid tumors is about 80%. There's about 80 per, um, 8 million um, uh, solid tumor cancers. And each uh, cancer patient could use this um, up to four or five times a year. So the market size is substantial, even just the U.S. How large do you think in dollars and cents this market is? Well, I'd hesitate to make a very uh, big assumption here, but we think that the cancer treatment market that our product could fit into could be in the billions of dollars. And I think that it's very important to give out the website for information, for, to get more information on the company. So why don't you take a shot at that? I know it's a tough question, but someone has to handle it. Well, it is a funny spelling, so let me give it. It's www.creativemicrotech.com, but creative has a funny spelling to distinguish ourselves. C-R-E-A-T-V, Creative Microtech. And Microtech is spelled? M-I-C-R-O-T-E-C-H. Thank you. Okay. Now, we're almost finished. Yes. Some of the questions that I think the investor community would want to know yes. is, are you planning on becoming a public company? Do you have any other exit strategies that you're thinking about? Um, we don't plan to be a public company, but uh, we might be interested in partnering or uh, be acquired. That's a good answer. And tell, let me tell you, you would say the same thing, I bet. Yes, our funding until now has been Founders Capital and some angel rounds of investing. We are now looking for investors who will help us get into and through the FDA process and uh, strategic partners who will use our product and help us develop it further. And from a marketing standpoint, do you plan on doing the marketing yourselves or are you looking for a strategic partner early? That is part of our partnership strategy. We are direct selling at the moment and we have no problem finding customers, but for larger volumes, especially for specific applications like clinical trials, we'd like to work with partners. And lastly, where do you manufacture these products? Um, we have a lab in Chicago, and uh, microfabrication um, is uh, performed in Chicago, and the diagnostic um, the kit is actually produced in Rockville, Maryland. Well, that's interesting to know. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I am standing with the team of Creative Microtech, and we have that website. One more time. CreativeMicrotech.com, spelled C-R-E-A-T-V. If you Google that spelling, that's who you'll get. And I want to thank... Shame for coming on to SNN Live, and I want to thank you, Pete. Thanks for coming on. Thank, thank you for coming thank on. It's good much. to meet you. Good to have you. Ladies and gentlemen, we are on location. This is SNN Live coming to you from the William E. Hanna Jr. Innovation Center at Shady Grove in lovely Rockville, Maryland. Thank you.